So <clears throat> Cowboys lost thirty four to eighteen and you might um Yes, this is a Cowboys video, despite the fact that I got my Rangers gear on. I decided to put my Rangers gear on because it makes me feel a little bit better talking about the Cowboys. Because at least the Rangers know how to win. Now, I did, of course, Rangers didn't win last night. They lost 4-3 uh, to the A's. Uh, but Rangers have two games left to make the season then the playoffs start, which the Rangers have already clinched a spot in. <clears throat> the thing about the Rangers is you always know what you're going to get. You always know that the Rangers are going to show up. And even if they don't, you always know that they have a legitimate chance to win. You know what you have with the Rangers. You know what team you have with the Rangers. <clears throat> the Cowboys, you don't fucking know. And I'm getting tired of everybody's already telling me after last night. Well, take Romo out and put Orton in. Orton scored. It was one drive, guys. It was one drive. One drive doesn't tell you shit about a player. You can ask Jamarcus Russell that. How much one drive can really tell you. Anybody can go out there and have a good drive. Anybody can go out there and manage a drive. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not going to be a, a stick up for Tony video. This is not going to be a go to bat for Tony video. I'm not going to take a bullet for Tony. Five picks. Way too much. Do I think that he could have done better absolutely do I think there's any excuse for five interceptions no absolutely not but do I think that just based on this one game we should pull Tony Romo and start Kyle Orton hell no and you would have to be a fucking idiot to think so <clears throat> you had the one pick it was probably a little bit on Des Bryant too he should have undercut the route instead he went over the top Miles Austin did the same thing so that's two interceptions right there he had the one interception bounced off Ogletree's hands, hit him right in the hands, bounced off. So that's not Romo's fault. So that's three already that you could really make a case for. Well, that wasn't Romo. That fourth interception, I don't give a damn what anybody say. That was not an interception. That was a strip. He had the ball tucked. He was scrambling. And he had the lineman come in from behind and knock the ball out from under his arm. And it went flying and a defender happened to be in front of him to catch it. But that was not an interception. There was no throwing motion. His arm was not moving forward. That was a strip. But the stats have officially said five. So the stats officially say that, that was an interception. But it's just like John Gruden said last night. Stats don't tell the full story. They never tell the full story. Like I said, the strip... Maybe he should have uh, held on to the ball better. The, uh, the That last pick, yeah, I was all on him. Those first three interceptions, though, the one where uh, I have a pretty good idea that Miles and Dez ran the wrong route, and then the one where it bounced off of Ogletree's hands. You can make pretty good cases on all three of those that that wasn't Romo's fault. Um, but... Uh, the thing about it is that uh, I don't it's gonna be a long two weeks it's gonna be a long two weeks we're on a bye and we got the Ravens after the bye we got the Ravens <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you.
And guys, I'm going to tell you something. This ain't like the good old days where Dallas was the only team in Texas and you had the entire state behind you. There's another team in Texas now. And that other team in Texas is doing very, very well. Very, very well. 4-0. They have yet to lose a game this year. <clears throat> and more and more people are showing where their true loyalties lie. More and more people are stopping being Cowboy fans and jumping onto the Houston bandwagon. Can I blame them? No, not really. With that being said, I will never do that. Because I'm loyal to my team. Despite the fact that I don't have Cowboys year on right now, I had to do something to at least make myself feel a little bit better about my city. Um... The two good things that I took away from this game, though, Jason Witten got back on track, so we're going to be able to use him against the Ravens. And uh, the line actually protected Romo for the most part. Oh, and uh, we didn't have a lot of penalties. So three things. Um, but other than that, our defense fucking sucked. And... It just made it all the much worse that it was on Monday Night Football, national, national TV game, <coughs> primetime game. Um, I don't know, but we got two weeks to figure out whatever we need to figure out. Jason Garrett was very questionable on play calling. Defense, I don't know whether to blame Rob Ryan's play calling or if it was just the fact that the player's not executing. But I'm not going to come out here and say that it's time to hit the reset button. It's time to rebuild this team because we've proven that we can win with this team. I'm not going to come out here and make excuses and, oh, well, we just had a bad night. Anybody can have a bad night. No, you can't have a fucking bad night. You can't afford to have a fucking bad night. You're trying to prove to the league and America and the entire fucking world that's watching that you can win ball games. That you can win when it matters most. And I made the mistake that all the other Cowboy fans made. Yes, I'm admitting it. I made the mistake. Once we beat the Giants, my head was high. My hopes were high. We just beat the champs. We back, baby. We back. Then the Seahawks knocked that one back down to earth. And then we come out and beat the Bucks. It's like, well, okay, we're 2-1. and one. We have a legit team. And then the Bears come and punched us right in the mouth. I don't think we need to change the players. I think we need to change the mentality of this team. We need to change what this team is about. We need to play we need to play harder, practice harder, all of that. We need to get our mind in the game. Because like I said, we've proven that we can win with the players we got. And that includes Tony Romo. Like I said, I'm not going to bat for Tony. I have been a martyr for Tony uh, since 2007. I've taken bullets for Tony since 2007 and come on here and said he is the right guy for this team. He is the man for the job. But I'm not going to take a bullet for him when he deserves to be shot. Figuratively, figuratively of course, nobody deserves to be shot. But I'm not going to take a bullet for Tony here. Even if you say, okay, those first three picks weren't his fault. That's still two interceptions that he shouldn't have had. And on top of that, he managed the game very, very poorly. I'm not going to come on here and, you know, 
put up high hopes and oh we can bounce back from this I'm gonna just see what happens I'm gonna be back a uh, couple days before the Ravens game with my preview of that but um that's all I got so How about them Cowboys? And uh, let's go Rangers. Playoffs again. At least somebody knows how to win in this fucking state. Peace.